It's been a few years since One Republic released its last album, but it's not like you've exactly been idle. Mm. You've been on a tour for two years, over 150 uh, countries, right? Uh, 150, 150 cities, cities. 40 countries. Something like that. 40, 40 some odd countries at least, yeah. And that ended up inspiring <clears throat> the music on this album, how so? Um, well, it, it, it definitely informed it. Um, all our songs are, are taken from personal experiences, so it's not really, we don't do concept albums um, that well. So it's based on personal experience. It's just, the album's about just being, it's a very human album. The lyrics, the content, everything about it is very much about being human. And, um, but in those different cities, it informed the sound, I think, more than anything. So, you know, the title track, Oh My My, has a French house-inspired vibe. That's also because we worked with a French uh, act with Cassius. Um, you know, the, the Peter Gabriel track has a, a bit of an 80s new wave kind of vibe to it because it's Peter Gabriel. We have a song called Future Looks Good that was written and recorded in Brazil, and it feels very much you can hear Brazil in the music. So that's really where it, how it, in, in, it, I would say informed almost more than inspired. The inspiration still have to come for me from like personal experiences, but it informed the music for sure. Future Looks Good is actually my favorite track on the album. Oh wow, awesome. I track love two. that track. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration for that. Uh, I was, I woke up in this random uh, hotel room. Um, I was off time because we had just gotten down to Brazil, so I hadn't gotten onto their time schedule, their, uh, what am I trying to say, their time zone yet. And so I, I was awake, like at one or two in the morning, and then I start, I was looking at photos of uh, my kids, you know, that my wife had taken. She's an incredible photographer. She'd taken all these photos. And so I was scrolling through pictures of them, and that's the song. There's an opening line. Yeah. Future looks good. Future looks good. <laughs> Look at, yeah, looking at pictures of you and, and the future looks good. Now the single, um, the video, seems like it was kind of a one take video. Kids. One, one take, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was one take. One take Jake. Um, so did, was it like tons of rehearsal? Or was it was a camera block? It was a lot of rehearsals. I mean, I would say two thirds of the day was rehearsing and then the, the last latter third was, was taping. Um, we did two videos in two days. We did the three, the VR, three-dimensional VR, fully immersive video that we shot the first day. Tons of choreography because if one person, if one extra out of like 80 extras, I think, or I, I forget how many, but it was a lot of people. I think it was about 100 and just over 100 people from crew to extras to you know actors to band. Everyone had to be moving at the exact same time because if a grip or a lighting guy or a sound guy, anybody, was slightly in frame, and you're talking about a VR camera that captures 360 everything, so you're constantly ducking and hiding and moving, and we'd run to different parts of the set throughout the video, it was crazy. And then the next day was still a one shot, so it was also just you know take after take to get the whole thing flowing. And then we got one take of the final, the final shot where we're finishing the chorus on kids, and the sky opened up, and this massive storm just dumped on Mexico City tore the tarp that was covering the alleyway, destroyed, shorted out the lights, destroyed the transformer, and, and the director was like, I hope we got it. I mean, it was, it was, that was it. We were toast, so.